Hi there, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly reading. Um, honestly, I did um, all the other signs, so the other five, no, the other four signs earlier. They've gotten really good readings in terms of like, um, you know, the energy smoothing itself out. I don't see problematic issues when it comes to work and other people. Uh, for you, however, I feel like it's going to be it's going to be a little bit of a difficult week, okay? And you, upon hearing that, you could choose to, you know, not listen if you want. Um, I don't hold any grudges, but I, I feel like there's definitely some energies here we need to address. Um, so, while I was shuffling, I have a, a, an image for you. I see an award ceremony, okay? And I see you putting ribbons or... Um, plaques or handing out medals to, to a group of people and um, I feel like you're looking at this person you're like you did a really good job you're getting first place and then to another person uh, you didn't do such a good job so you need to improve and then you kind of you know tell them to go away they like they didn't get a medal and um, there's resentment there's resentment I'm feeling coming into the picture so if you have overlooked certain situations, overlooked certain people, I feel like they might come back with vengeance, okay? Not to scare you, I don't want to, to scare you, but I feel like you have to, I guess the word is, you know, I, I mentioned for Aquarius, um, fixed signs don't like to fake things, but there is a way to be diplomatic without having to fake things. Fix signs, if you don't like somebody, you don't want to talk to them. If you don't want to be around somebody, you're not going to be around them. If you don't want to attend a social function, you're not going to be there. Fix signs are just very real when it comes to the things they will or will not do. So you, Aquarius, and the Scorpio, Leos are a little bit more lenient because if they have, if, if, well, Leo and Scorpio, if somebody they love is there and they don't want to be there and their loved ones drags them, they'll, they'll do it. But I feel like you and Aquarius, you guys don't, you guys don't care. And so if you feel like somebody's underperforming, you're not going to sit there and tell them, you did a really good job. You're not going to do that. But it's also important to, you know, let them know. And you don't have to be that blunt, but you should tell them. Um, if you're struggling with this, here's what you can do differently so that they feel um, acknowledged. Does that make sense? It's not so much about the, the getting the award or the medal. It's the fact that you're paying attention to what they're doing, you're seeing where they're struggling, and you're offering them uh, an opportunity or you're giving them guidance to improve. I feel like that's what they want, that validation, that acknowledgement that you've been looking, that you're aware, that you're noticing. That's what they really want, okay? So, especially if you're dealing with younger people, that's what they really want, that's what they really need. So sometimes brutal honesty might not be the best option when you're dealing with people who are a little bit more sensitive. And this goes for adults as well. If someone feel like they're embarrassed in public, they're gonna get very defensive. If someone feels like they've been passed over, they're going to get really defensive as well and angry. So we have to be a little bit more delicate when we're dealing with people, okay? Um, I'm also seeing as well trouble on the work front. Somebody is like sleeping on their watch, okay? So it's like some of you might be like, can you help me take care of this? I have some things I need to, to attend to. And then the other person is like, okay, okay, I'll take care of it. You can go off and do your thing. And then they are not there when they need to take care of it. So then you come back and everything is like a mess. And you're like, but I thought you said you would handle it. And then the other person's like, oh, I, I don't remember saying that. So I see something here. I see something here about somebody making promises that they'll take care of a certain aspect and then you turn around and it's not taken care of um it could be something as major as like 
you said you're going to get this project done. We have to submit it to our clients, or we have to submit it to my supervisor or the manager, and it's not done. Be very, very careful. We are headed into Mercury retrograde. It starts on. It started on the seventeenth of November. So I feel like this is the energy that you're dealing with. It's not really hitting the other signs as much, but I feel like with you guys, the energy is very strong. Okay, so take care of things in a timely manner. If you are asking somebody to take over responsibilities, check on them. You know, not every minute, but casually stroll by and see how they're doing. You might realize that they've forgotten. And then I also feel like for those who are working、um, on a self-employed basis. Or working on a commission scale, there's like a deal, a big, big, big deal that has gone through. Like、um, you、uh, strike a deal with somebody, and you know they're going to be your client. They pay the money, and for whatever reason, things are not delivered, and then they get upset, and then you know they rescind the deal, they rescind the contracts, and it, it's it's almost like somebody dropped the ball, somebody messed up, somebody dropped the ball. Somebody couldn't deliver when they said they were going to deliver, or somebody slept on their watch, like they forgot.、Um, so just be careful about that. Honestly, if you want something done right, you do it yourself. Okay, if you want something done right, you need to do it yourself. Delegating might not be the best time this week because of the retrograde energy. And、um, yeah, I just feel like I just feel like people are not where they're supposed to be. It can be a little bit aggravating.、Um, okay, so let me just、um, step away from that energy and try to see what else is coming through as well.、Um, what I'm getting as well is.、Um, I definitely feel like a love connection that you are trying to manifest, or you have been trying to manifest, and for whatever reason,、um, I feel like it's it's very difficult to get off the ground. I feel like you're you have been waiting for it for some time. You're getting a little bit impatient as well.、Um, I also feel like you're dealing with somebody who's got a lot of things that they're juggling, not people. They're juggling responsibilities. They're juggling things. They're very, very, very busy, and I'm getting somebody who's like, you know,、uh, snap, snap, snap. Like, time is money. I need to get moving. I need to get out of here, and I need to, you know,、um, get the ball rolling. So it's somebody who's who's like a busybody. They're not a cheater, or they're not unfaithful, or they're not dishonest in any way, but I feel like they're a little bit more on the impatient end. And I feel like they're waiting around for you. They're waiting for you to approach them. They're waiting for you to quicken up your pace to meet their level. They are waiting for you, pretty much.、Um, I feel like. Let me see here. We have the Seven of Cups. This is electronic types of communication, online dating, social media, emails, text messages, where you're not physically right next to the other person. You can be if you choose to. So this is that energy where you know we are dropping the、uh, electronic communication, and we're trying to appear right next to the other person. So. I'm feeling like there is somebody in your life when you communicate with them in writing, everything works out fine. But when when you both are in person, you freeze up. You might freeze up. They might freeze up, and then the conversation becomes awkward. Like it, it's too much eye contact, or and I, I honestly I'm getting somebody who might be you know、um, mildly autistic, where they're they're uncomfortable with.、Um, Looking at people's faces, or looking at people's、um, facial expression, or they could be highly, highly empathic. They feel everything very strongly, and it's just they're they're like immobilized with just the the strong emotions, and they're not able to express themselves. So when it comes to communicating、uh, in a Written way in a written form, text messages, emails—it's fine. 
but when you're face to face with them, the conversation just never gets aligned properly between you and this person, and you're also trying to figure out why. So that that I see is a, another source of frustration.、Um, I also have here a blast from the past. Okay, this is somebody who has brought you a lot of joy. I feel like they have a good sense of humor. They're kind of eccentric and kind of quirky. They brought you a lot of joy.、Um, there's a naughtiness about them. They make you feel like a kid again for whatever reason. But then I also feel like they've also brought you a lot of sadness. I feel like they're coming back into the picture. And. Once again, electronic communication. You can choose to, you know, just meet them in person if you choose to. You can definitely do so, and I feel like it might be good for you to do so. But you're very afraid, so you're definitely holding back your feelings. You're keeping somebody at arm's length because you're very afraid of them inter、um, entering your inner sanctum and, you know, exposing your emotions and. And、uh, digging up those emotions back up, you know, reviving those emotions. So I feel like you're very afraid of that. And I feel like some of you are very much about, you know, controlling relationships.、Um, you want to be the one in control. You want to be the one to tell the other person, "You were really good today," so you get a hug, or you know, "You were really good today," so I'm going to give you my love and my affection. And we can't behave that way when we're dealing with other people. Okay, we can't impose conditions when it comes to love and relationships. So be very careful about that. Okay, withholding love and affection when the other person doesn't do something that you want, or giving love and affection when they do do something right. Like we can't do that to another person. It creates a lot of confusion. It can also stunt the relationship, and it's not a good way to behave. We can't really love with strings attached like that. So I feel like I feel like that's what's really happening in your relationships, where you want things a specific way, you want things a certain way, and then when when the other person doesn't behave in that way, you withhold love and affection, and then when they do finally do what you want. Then you shower them with so much love and attention, and then they're confused. They're they're constantly going through this emotional roller coaster with you, and sooner or later they're gonna get off that emotional roller coaster. Sooner or later they're gonna choose, you know, maybe the merry-go-round where things are a little bit more predictable, not as interesting, but. A lot more stable. So I I feel like somebody is in the process of moving away because they can't be in that roller coaster anymore. And when they move away, you might try to draw them back in. You know, by I'm I'm seeing somebody throwing stones like to get somebody's attention. So. Let's be a little bit more loving with the way that we deal with people, and let's be a little bit more attentive and delicate with the way that we offer love, compassion, and attention. Okay.、Um, yes,、yeah, some people don't. You know, like we all have people that annoy us, but I feel almost like in a It's it's almost like on a human level, we need to afford each other with certain amounts of、uh, you know dignity and respect and compassion. And I feel like that's what's really missing in this reading. And I hate you know lecturing. And I I, I feel like you know not all Taurus people are like this, but there's something happening here where it's forcing you to re-examine these things. Okay. And like I said before. A lot of fixed signs. You you don't like to fake it. You don't like to fake it. If you don't like somebody, you're not going to hang out with them. You're just not going to be around them. And when they talk, you might just you know walk away. Scorpios are really good at doing that. 
And it's funny watching a Scorpio, like uh, somebody enters their circle, they don't really care about that person, and then they, they never give that person eye contact, and mid-sentence, they'll walk away. And I, I feel like, you know, you guys are not that extreme, but you definitely have some people you don't like, and I feel like they want that validation. So it wouldn't hurt to, you know, give them a little bit of attention, just to make their day. Just so that they feel validated, okay? Um, let me see if there's anything else coming in here. So, I, I do feel as well. Um, I mentioned with the Capricorn, they're going to a gathering and they're like the wallflower. They're the wallflower. So like they're, you know, they're invited to these gatherings, but they choose not to engage in the festivities because they just feel like, hmm, I'm, I'm just going to watch. I'm just going to see what everybody's doing. And I'm okay with that. Capricorns are very independent. They're okay with, you know, just being the outsider looking in. But I feel like with you guys, you want more attention. You want to be more involved. You want to be kind of, um, you definitely want more of that social cohesion. And I feel like this week, that might not be there. People are caught up in their own things. People are, are, you know, dealing with a lot of things in their life. So you might feel a little bit like kind of left out. And it's it's not so much that, you know, that's it's not the intention of other people. It, it's just I feel like they might have trouble connecting to you. Okay, Emotionally, they might have trouble connecting to you. You guys definitely have your walls up regarding who you let in, who you shut out. And it's going to be very apparent to you. I, I feel like the, the, the consequences of that will be very apparent to you. And so the advice is you really want to make sure you shut out the right people and you let the right people in. And we definitely need to, you know, give ourselves without strings attached without conditions we need to learn to be a lot more open-hearted with our heart and our compassion and things like that okay um i'm also seeing a lot of spending just be careful some of you might be um might need things fixed around the house okay so i feel like you're saving up for that or you might need like a, a somebody to fix the roof we are headed into the rainy season. The rains are going to start coming, so you might need to clean out your gutters. You might need to get a roofer. You might need to, you know, do another coat of paint on your house, on the exterior. But I, I definitely see some home repairs. And you're crunching the numbers. You're trying to find the best contractors as well. So that's on the more mundane level, but I feel like it's important, so it needs to be said. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. I just feel like this week, compassion will go a long way. Compassion will go a long way. Um, I do feel as well, big financial windfall coming for you guys for a job well done. I see you as well doing a lot of volunteer work. And and I feel like it's great for the soul. So like I said, not all Taurian people are going to be dealing with this. But for some of you that are dealing with this, it's going to be, the energy is going to be a little bit difficult. I hope the reading is helpful. I hope it resonates either way, okay? And like I said, you know, my um, disclaimer was initially was um, it's not going to be an easy week. And if you're okay with that, keep watching. If not, then, you know, you might have already stopped watching by now. But um, I don't like to sugarcoat my reading. I wish you all the best regardless and have a wonderful time celebrating your family. Take care and stay safe. I will talk to you guys next week.